Well, had an interesting experience the other day. Um, my wife and I were trying to get some documentation for an upcoming video. Um, this big, huge mega church uh, in Lancaster County. We're right, right now we're in Pennsylvania. I'll tell you more about that in a ministry update coming up. But uh, we wanted to go down to a big mega church called Calvary Church. Of course, it's not a church really, you know. Listen to my other studies on that. It's a building that's filled with a lot of lost people. But uh, we wanted to go there. I remember I had seen there, I'd been there for a funeral, and I had seen they had articles of incorporation on the one wall. And uh, so I wanted to get some video of that. I'll show you a little bit of video of that here while I'm speaking. We did get some video. And um, of course it was incorporated back in the 1930s. And, uh, you know, back then incorporation doesn't mean what it means today. And of course today it's a 501c3. Um, the pastor, the senior pastor, I remember seeing a thing in the Lancaster newspaper that uh, he's a former Catholic and he said that the truth is in the Catholic Church, it's just veiled. <laughs> yeah, sure. But uh, we're in there and it was Christmas Eve service and stuff, so you know we had gone in to get some documentation. And we're walking out and I look to my left as we're coming out of the doors and there's these machines, all these machines set up. And this place is just crawling with security, you know, just weird. It felt just really creepy being there. But uh, there's all these machines, and I, I stopped for a minute, and I looked at them, and I thought, what in the world is that? And I see this lady over at the one, and she's got her purse out, and she's, like, doing stuff, and I realized these are tithing machines, which is bad enough. But I actually went over to this thing, and I looked at it. It had a finger scanner. Here's a little bit of video of this. I'm going to have to freeze the frame so you can see it. Um, you can see right there, there's like a place where you can put your card in, but then that little thing that has the blue light, that thing is a finger scanner. So in other words, you have a biometric scanning system inside this church, you know. And uh, that's quite significant for a number of reasons. Number one, for that thing to be set up, you would have to have a database of all the people there. I mean, I couldn't have just walked over, put my finger on that thing, and it would have taken money out of my bank account. See? So those people all have to be registered and biometrically scanned into the computer system. Hello? You know, Revelation chapter 13 here, Mark of the Beast. See? And this, this Babel building is one of the most wicked, most worldly. I mean, it's like the elite you know, church in the area. All the rich people go to it. You know, just incredible. I mean, I was, I just was stunned seeing this thing there, you know, because it's only one more step to uh, having a chip reader or a uh, retina scanner or a QR code scanner that scans it on your forehead. You see, as I've said many, many times, and I'll say it one more time, the Bible says that the whole world will worship the beast. Where do you worship at? A house of worship. A church building. We are so close to this thing happening, ladies and gentlemen. And you get these professing Christians and they're just over there, hey, I'll, I'll scan my finger and, and it can I give my tithe through my finger. Yay! <laughs> and by the way, let me say this too. Um, a church isn't just going to set that thing up. If a church is coming out and they're fingerprinting people and making databases and things, you're dealing with government there. You're not dealing with just your average church building growing, you know, let's just make this thing happen. You have to have governmental people coming in and helping you set that thing up. Whew. Wicked as the devil, I'll tell you what. And I mean, we're, we're there. There's guys walking around, they got the belts on, you know, just like police officers, security forces. They got Glocks on their sides. I mean, they got the handcuffs, they got everything. And I thought to myself, right now it's just, you know, we're here to protect you, you know, for your safety. But I thought to myself, how much of a step would it be away, you know, from where we're currently at here? How much of a step you know, would it be for these guys to be standing there as enforcers watching everybody scan as they come in? 
tell you what, we are getting close. Antichrist Church is already here. They're just waiting for the man to show up so they can worship him. If you're in one of those places, if you're going to Calvary Church or no relatives that go to that place in Lancaster County, uh, out near Lancaster City, uh, they, actually it's kind of funny because the area is called Eden. You know, yeah, sure. But uh, if you're there, going there, or if you know somebody that goes there, get them out quick, very quick. That thing's already set up to worship the beast. Incredible.